Tier one's gonna fill soon. Can now? I I'm not gonna. Uh, no, it's been like two weeks since I played this game. There's no way that I'm playing a Mogi tonight. I am doing degenerate fun things for content. That's what I'm doing. I'm not playing a Mogi. For those that were watching the last stream I did of the big mod pack that Mayro sent me, you may remember that I said, "Wow, this one particular mod is really cool. I want to do an entire stream of Worldwide's playing this mod because I think you can use it online." Love you, no homo. It's not homo to love a homie. And here is the mod. <laughs> we'll be playing Worldwide's tonight with this huge quagsire. Look, it, I'm just so happy that it loads. Maybe the game will start bugging if there's like 12 quagsires in the room. But right now, it's it, I played one race before stream started and it was fine. So hopefully it won't crash. Any other quags? No. No other quagsires. It would be kind of cool to get the entire room to all play Bowser Flame Runner. The only thing is that he's just so wide that I don't know where the hitbox begins and ends for him. Because even though it, it looks like the model is really big, it's still the same size as Bowser. Okay. Wow, Bowser's small sound clips are cursed as f Battery's dead. Here's the trick if, if your like, controller batteries are dead that I used to do when I was a kid. I would go to my living room and I would take batteries out of like the remote for something that we never used. So like the DVD player or like... I don't know, some other kind of remote. I just yoink the batteries straight from there. Problem solved. I'm a good distraction. Thank you? I never understood why some some things take AAA batteries and some things take AA. Like, why can't there just be one battery for everything? Like, uni like universally. Dude, why? That wasn't the mod. That was just my disc sucking. You know what I want for Christmas, chat? I want a new Mario Kart Wii disc. Can one of you make that happen? I think Quagsire is just goaded. Look at this. It's so easy. It's just so free that this mod just gives you infinite power. Oh god. Dude. <laughs> Look, another Quagsire. There's two of us. Three of us. Look at all the <laughs> It's so ridiculous. <laughs> You know the feeling when you borrow an expensive DSLR and capture good photos? When you take ones from your own device, even smartphones, it looks like crap. Um, yeah, there's definitely something to be said about using good equipment. It definitely makes you see a little bit differently. Dude, there was one time last summer I was on an assignment and I rented uh, a lens. It was my first time ever renting equipment. I never rent. I just bring what I own. I paid like, I don't know, a hundred bucks or something to rent this really expensive lens. Like this lens, it's thousands of dollars. And I was standing on top of a chair to take a picture and... <laughs> It was like one of those foldy chairs that like you pull up the, the seat and it folds into itself for storage. And I stood too far back, like into the chair and it collapsed in on itself with me on top of it. And the, the lens like smashed against the wall and like the protector cracked, like the protective ring polarizing filter shattered. And then like my hand was dripping blood. And it was like the first day of the assignment too. And I had like three more days to go. It was a real good time. And then I, I like, I wrote this really long email to the company. I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I don't think it's broken. It's just like the, the, the filter, like I can't get it off cause it like dented and the threads were all dented. So I sent it back to the company afterwards it's still like the, everything worked fine and they charged me like a hundred bucks or something so I, I thought it was gonna be a lot worse but it was fine all right let's see if we can get doyle dune as quagsire no i was way off i forgot how to do this that's a big quagsire right there holy tell us a funny story Oh, okay, here's a funny story. This might be a funny story, I'm not really sure. Actually, I can't tell that story. I, I lied. I can't tell it. It's too- I don't- I think it would make people angry instead of laughing. Let me think of another one. Have I told you guys the milk story yet? I don't think I have. This is a work story, so it might be more funny to me than it would be to you guys, but I'll tell it anyway. So for those that don't know, I work at a coffee shop full time. I'm like a full time barista and the place that I work at, it's not like a chain or anything. It's a, it's like a mom and pop place, but they have a drive through. And one day it was a, it was a Sunday or a Saturday. It was like one of our busier days. We always pop off on the weekends. Me and my coworker, we were both working on the drive through together. So we were 
so busy. I was on the computer pretty much just typing in orders and answering headsets and handing things out the window. Typical drive through fare. And she was making all of my drinks. And we're both going like a million miles a minute. There's so much stuff going on. If you've never worked in food before, it's a lot of multitasking. It's a lot of like you're running around with a, like a chicken with your head cut off. And my coworker's right, she's right behind me and she's like making something. And I hear a very loud bang. And I see in the corner of my eye, white liquid flying through the air. <laughs> And just to set the scene a little bit more, there was a line of cars wrapped around our building and inside the cafe was over a hundred people lying out the door, people waiting right in front of us, watching us, watching our every move because they want their shit. I turn around, the entire back of the espresso bar is covered in milk. <laughs> absolutely covered it was just the two of us and like the owner of the store he was like handling people in the front of the store we were both on the drive through and there is milk everywhere it's on the window on the walls everybody's watching us and we just start laughing because it's really funny it was so funny dude there's a gal a full gallon of milk on the floor how do we clean this up and keep going like nothing happened so we both start laughing the my owner is like okay guys like stop laughing clean it up we, we got stuff to do. So we're like, okay, what do we do? There's too much liquid to get like paper towels and like the mop won't work because there's too much liquid. So our solution was to get like a dustpan and like a squeegee that you would use for windows. And we start, <laughs> we start squeegeeing up the milk and like dumping it into the trash can. <laughs> and everybody's watching us. It took us a while, but eventually we, we finished squeegeeing up all the skim milk into the trash and that was the hardest i have ever laughed ever at my job and it wasn't even like the fact that an accident happened because like that shit happens all the time it was just like how busy we were and the fact that everybody was watching us it just felt like a fever dream so now at work anytime anytime something spills we just say get the squeegee and we just squeegee everything up now tell us the other story as well okay i'll tell it i'll tell it while we're waiting for the room to fill up but you guys have to promise not to cancel me for this story because it's not like a bad story but it's one that could be taken out of context okay so this is another story i'm at work and at my work there's this person who works in the kitchen he's a middle-aged south american man barely speaks any english but he is so funny and we were both on our breaks at the same time and i'm like eating my salad whatever he's like eating a sandwich we're both on our phones and he turns to me and he goes hey he holds up his phone and goes, look at this. And it's a video of this girl, this like naked woman. She's got like huge tits. She's like dancing in front of the camera, you know, just like doing it. She's like porn. He's like, hey, ha ha ha. Look at this porn. Isn't that funny? And I'm like, why are you showing me this? And then he's like, no, wait. And the girl opens her legs and a huge dick flies out. And I'm like, dude, why do you have this on your phone? And he just starts laughing. <laughs> and then I go back to eating my food. Don't really think much of it. And then he's like, hey, look at this one. And it's, it's a different girl, but it's like the same kind of concept. Huge dick flies out. I'm like, dude, why do you have all this trap porn on your phone? Meanwhile, somebody else who works in the, in the kitchen with this guy is like, hey, that's transphobic. Those are transgender people. That's derogatory of you to say, like, you can't use the word trap. It's a slur. And I'm like, no, dude, like this isn't, th this is different. Like these, these people are trying to deceive you, right? Like, I, am I wrong in thinking that? The, the whole point of those videos is like, ha ha ha, look, I'm a pretty lady. And then, oh, oops, I tricked you. I actually have an eight inch horse c But I don't know why this guy in, my, in the kitchen just had like all of this porn on his phone and he wanted to show me for some reason. I still like the milk story. See, yeah, that's why I I didn't want to tell that story originally and I, I pivoted to the milk story. But you guys forced it out of me. We're gonna see the squad. Squad, except for this one dude. Ow, bro, with the combo. He's just so happy running along. It's like, da, 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 not a single thought in his head. Are you a movie theater kind of guy or are you a sit at home on your couch stream guy? I used to be a movie guy. There used to be a couple movies a year that I would always want to go see when they came out. I used to really have my finger on the pulse of the movies that were coming out, but I kind of stopped watching TV. So I never really saw advertisements for movies. I never knew it was coming out. So I stopped going to the theaters, but at the same time, the only kind of long form content that I consume nowadays 
nowadays is like video essays and like YouTube videos. So I, I don't really watch a whole lot of movies. I still have this list on my little like whiteboard here. I think it just fell down of movies that I've been dying to watch, but they're all from 2018 and there's so many more that I just haven't added on to it. I liked the part where he said it's Doyle time and started doiling on the competition. You're right. It is Doyle time. Let's go. I always do that. Clean. No, we were so close. That felt targeted. That was most definitely targeted. <sighs> Sorry, I wanted to be an asshole. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna time you out for like 10 seconds. Perfect. Check it, Quagsire gap jump. No. Oh, it's 100 CC, that's why. It's just really hard. Oh my God. The snipe of a century from Egg. Wow. Who is my favorite character in the Mario series? Um, I hit the L button to dodge. Lame. It's either Yoshi or this is a really obscure reference, but Koops from Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, because I like that character trope of like weak, low self-esteem character that gets cheered on by his family and friends until he finds confidence in himself and like accomplishes whatever goal he has. My friend who joined the room without telling me wants me to tell you that their favorite track is Shy Guy Beach. You can tell them that I said to you to tell them that they have horrible taste in tracks. My friend said, F you. Tell your friend to come into my YouTube comments and say it to my face there. All right, that's all I got. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Tonight was fun. Thank you.